Alright, first we have to open a new file part. In this video, we are going to draw a nut. It is one of the part of the crane pulley block assembly. Please note the dimension as per the drawing. Then we have to go for modeling. Select a plane which you want to sketch here. After selecting a plane, you have to draw a circle. Go to the sketch, select a circle. After drawing a circle, you have to specify the dimension for it. Then we need to draw a center rectangle. So select a rectangle. Then click OK. You have to specify the dimension for a rectangle. Then you need to use a dream entities to delete the unwanted segments. Then we have to draw one more concentric circle. Just click OK, give the dimension by circle. Then click OK, exit the sketch, go to the extrude box. Select our corresponding sketch in your design tree. And give the amount of thickness to be extruded here. Make it the mid plane for your future references. Then click OK. After that, we have to apply here. Chamfer. So go to the chamfer in. Select the edges to be applied chamfer. We have to give the dimension as per distance and angle. Likewise, we have to apply the chamfer at another edges. So just click OK. Again, you have to go for chamfer and select here another edges so click the chamfer again you have to select the edges where the chamfer is to be applied and then click ok after that you have to select a face where we want to sketch here so select here one face and make it to the normal view after that you have to draw a circle here go to the sketch draw a circle the circle is must be at the center. Then click OK, give the dimension for your circle. You have to make a extrude cut, so just exit the sketch, go to the features. You have to remove a material here, so we are using a extrude cut. Make sure your hole is passing through a Then click OK. After that, you need to create a thread at your internal. So you have to use a thread option in your drop down list of whole wizard. So select a thread option. Select edge where we want to produce a thread. After that, you have to specify that height of thread to be produced then we are using a type as a metric standard you have to specify the metric as per your diagram reference here I have to specify the metric 52 just click ok if thread cannot be created you have to just select a extruded thread here Click the extruded thread and click OK. Now the thread is successfully created. 
after that we have to just apply the color for a good appearances at last we have achieved the shape of the nut as per the diagram reference so first we have to save our component for your future use don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching